Okay guys, I normally don't do this, but for the first time, I'm going to show you guys a ROM that is not 100% usable, but I had some requests that people want to see it. Seeing is believing. And so I introduce you guys to CyanEngine Mod 11 for the Epic 4G Touch. This is a 4.4 KitKat. Now, uh, the developer um, Dastin is building this ROM. So far, data is not working. All other things seem to be working just fine. So here we go. 4.4 KitKat. Eat your heart out. Um, basic AOSP stuff. So you guys have seen this time and time again. And here we go. Um, let's go to about phone. 4.4 KitKat. <clears throat> and there's a K when you press on it. There we go. Android 4.4. Um, this is an early build and uh, still got a lot more to go through. This was uh, released yesterday on the 23rd. And um, that is not working. Wi-Fi works, but I haven't set up my account on this. I just wanted to show you guys the ROM itself. Um, I don't have the Google Now page set up yet, but um, everything else seems to be working. Let me uh, see where the brightness is at. Lower it for you guys. Okay. <clears throat> okay, Google. Hmm. Not working. Okay, Google. Well, it's working from there, but not working <clears throat> from the home screen. But it's probably because I don't have it set up. Like I said, nothing is set up. My account's not even added on here. Um, as you can see, just your basic apps that it comes with. It comes with Apollo Media Player. Camera, Google Plus, messaging, Google Play Store, terminal emulator, uh, torch, voice service. That's basically what it comes with. <clears throat> so, yeah. 4.4 KitKat. I'm looking forward to this actually running on our device. Like I said, right now there's no data, so I wouldn't suggest this as a daily driver. Everything else is uh, pretty much still the same. I'm surprised this one comes with the messaging app instead of Hangouts as a default messaging app, but probably because most people don't want Hangouts as its default messaging app. They would rather use the regular messaging or um, things like uh, GoSMS or any of those. So, But other than that, yeah, so again, for you guys, we'll go into settings and we'll go down to about device and 4.4. Uh, you do have to use an ICS modem as usual with AOSP ROMs for our device. And there we go. Build date, build number. And again, one last time. And there we go. So, yeah, guys, Android 4.4 KitKat, we're getting it on our phones. Um, show your support at XDA. Uh, developers um, you guys can check it out I'll put the link in the description and show your support to Dastin he's doing an excellent job bringing us some of the best updates for our device and he is now working hard on 4.4 so go over there and show your support because this phone is basically uh, two generations old about to be three generations old when the Galaxy S5 hits the market they're already talking about the Galaxy S5 so um, for them to keep, um, you know, some development for the Epic 4G Touch and to have 4.4 now available for our device, just without data right now, um, to me that's, that's a, a big, big step, so. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this ROM review. I will review the ROM again fully with all its features when it is basically at least 95% 
working to be a daily driver but this is just a sneak peek at 4.4 KitKat for the epic 4G touch there you go Galaxy S2 logo on the back just so there's no naysayers um, anyways guys thanks for watching